Okay, I wanted to explain the build, or the run, I guess. So, um, oh, back out of that. All right, we're going to go through and explain everything. Basically, what is the run? This is an unarmed bard build. We're going to be using fist and playing instruments, can't play instruments in combat, but it's also a bard, so I'm going to be using the thum. So, we'll sing all over Skyrim until we become the most powerful vocalists in Tamriel. And then, what is the goal of the run? To become the most famous bard drag and dragonborn by performing for every Jarl in Skyrim and defeating all opposition to my Thum. Playing on survival mode, just so you know. Um, that's why Better Horses is a really good thing. And there's a couple other mods that are kind of quality of life improvements. That's most of my mods are just quality of life, of life improvements. So, Better Horses, they run faster, they run longer, they don't die, and they don't engage in combat unless... No, they don't. So that's nice. Um, under Unleveled items, if you get an item like Chill Rend in the picture there, it's going to be the max level. You don't have to get it at level 46. It's automatically going to be the highest one. So all of these ones that don't have a checkbox next to them are not being used. They're disabled. So Stones of Baron's Eye, Quest Markers, Parthenax Dilemma. We're probably going to use this, actually. Um, it's basically it makes it so you don't have to kill Parthenax. Expanded Carriage Service. Like it says in the description, it adds a carriage to Dawnstar, Falkreef, Morthal, and Winterhold. Open City Skyrim, this is just for immersion. Instead of going through a loading screen, you press the gate and it opens into Whiterun, for example, and all the other cities. Fist of Pain. So this is for if you get into a brawl, because I have weapons that I'm going to be using that are fist weapons, so this doesn't even count. But if, if I'm like in prison or... Some guy, some guy says, hey, challenge me to a bar brawl. I can't use weapons, so it's going to use my fist damage instead, which is scaled off my level. Hit me with your best shot 2.0. This adds skill trees to two-handed, one-handed, and it adds skill trees to like sneak and stuff. And basically, it just makes it so you're holding invisible weapons. So you use the fist animation, but they're actually weapons in your hand, and you can modify them with perk effects. Complete Skyforge weapon set. This just adds a mace, arrows, that kind of stuff to the Skyforge. We're not even going to use it this run. Better Storm Call. It makes it so it won't just target a city. When you shout, it won't. all the guards won't go hostile from just you shouting. Um, and, yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Now, I think they have to be hostile to you before you shout. Or it just will just strike random spots on the ground. Okay, better looking map. It's always helpful. Cumulative blessings. So this this one modifies the the um, the all the shrines to make them a little bit better, and so it makes the shrine of Talos from twenty percent to 50, to thirty percent. So it'll increase my shout cooldown, which is really good for this build. Um, and it goes along with another one I have later down, further down. Regeneration Mastery, recommend this if you're playing a mage that doesn't use enchanting. Um, or if it does use enchanting, it doesn't like enchant everything down to zero. It enchants everything down to like 50% and you can use all the spells. This one will let you, as you're charging up magic, it gives you a regen. Realistic Water, Graphics, Effective Magic. I won't go into this one in too much detail, but it just modifies magic so it's stronger. Better wards, better wards. Unarmed dragon priest masks. Some of the dragon priest masks don't have an armor rating. That's for mage playthrough. That's a mod I made. Uh, uh, growl. Werewolves of Skyrim. Basically, it overhauls werewolves completely. You can transform at will. Transform back at will. You can um, you can turn into a werewolf like in a different way instead of doing the companion's quest. And I show that in this game. Become a bard. This is the main part of the playthrough. Basically, we can perform in you can perform in bars and you can perform in um, yarls in front of a yarl. And so you start with the default songs. You can buy more songs. You get a loot. You can play more songs, etc., etc. And you'll see that as I go, as I experiment, because I've never I've never done this before, so it was really fun. My original thoughts were for a drunk playthrough, but I had a mod that made it so when you drink you black out and you can teleport somewhere else. I thought that'd be really fun to add some randomness to the playthrough but it was too many scripts and it messed with my game and it made my game crash every five seconds so I uninstalled it. 
uh, magical college of Winterhold that makes the college actually like really cool with like things flying around and mystical gardens and stuff like that. Um, ben Bandelier. So it, it adds a bunch of pouches to your to your character that you can craft and increases your carry weight. So to counteract quality of life for for survival. Dragon aspect toggle. So instead of being once a day for sixty seconds, it's turn it off and on whenever you want. Um, it's actually really nice. Is this treating? Sure, well, but why not? Uh, this is fire breath and frost breath, which I'm going to try out. Never tried it before. Infinite blessings makes my shrine last forever, 999 days, so I don't have to constantly go back and get the blessing of Talos every eight seconds, every five seconds. Wine warms is another quality of life thing. Basically, it makes it so you. Um, you can drink wine when you're starting to freeze and you'll gain some warmth back. We got Adventures Backpack, Alternative Armor, Stalingrad, Arcane Accessories. This is great. The backpacks is great for carry weight as well. Um, Arcane Archer, we're not using it. Camping, we might, we probably will use that if we're out in the middle of the wilderness, but we also have a werewolf ability and camping just slows it down. It just depends. If you need a place to sleep and you don't want to try and get all the way to a town, this is going to be a great thing to have. Okay, so maybe we're not using Civil War Champions. The Storm Bear armor on the right is shot reduction. It's glitched, but I figured out how to fix eh, fix it with console commands. So Dead Man's Dread, we're not going to worry about. Maybe later, um, doesn't matter. Divine Crusader, we're not worrying about. Um, armored Mud Crab, apparently it's nothing off. It's just a stupid little pet that I'm not going to use. Maybe I'll use use it later. It's just kind of a fun little thing. Crossbows, crossbows, forgotten seasons. We might run into the um, a lot of the armor sets. We might actually use some armor sets from this, so I highly recommend looking into it. Um, Hendraheim, it's a house that's pretty cool. Lord Mail, we're not using it. Nordic jewelry, we might use those because they look cool. Um, rare curios. Oh no, this forgotten seasons. We're not using anything from that's that's from. That's a Dwarven Ruin. I hate Dwarven Ruins. Ruins Edge. Kind of cool. We're not going to use it. Saints and Seducers. This is the one that we might use weapons and armor from. Not weapons. Armor from. And then Christmas. Uh, Shadowrun. We're not going to use. Spellnight Armor is kind of cool looking. We might end up snagging it because it looks pretty nice. Staff of Hasidoki. I might grab that for the ward so then I can fight dragons easier. Basically, it's an infinite ward when you're not casting anything. It's kind of broken. Okay, Staff of Shea Gorath, uh, Paralysis Staff. That's kind of a fun quest to get, but don't worry about it. Survival mode. This changes a lot. No fast travel. You have to eat. You have to sleep. You have to stay warm. Um, it's really fun. If you don't have it, I highly recommend getting it. Um, that's why we have a lot of these mods that I explained. Reduces your carry weight, etc. Grey Cow returns. Not going to use it. Umbra, not going to use it. So that's it. Age of Aggression. One instrument loot, length, who knows? Oh, that's fun. Are you staring? Hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes with the voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. <laughs> believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. All right, Sven. It's okay. I'm just never should come here. <laughs> Fine. She's died right now. Now ain't this a surprise?
Glitches into the wall so much. Okay. Time to end this triple K. I'm going to push you down. Oh no, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry, Sven. I'd like to fight in flee. Just give up! Get him, Sven. I'm on your side. Beat him down. <laughs> That's a big DPS increase. Sorry. Oh, we did it. Oh, follow me now. What? What? What is that? Bandits? Why are they freaking out? I don't know who you are. Is it because I killed a niece? I can't remember if they care about that. Well, I'm not fighting four bandits at once. I don't care who you are. Like, I keep going hidden and it just keeps going. Dots keep reappearing. What? Okay. I have a rule whenever the game glitches out, I can use console commands to fix it. And this is my console command for being stupid and throwing stuff in the air. Freaking bandit. Two bandit chiefs. Yeah. Two bandit chiefs and a freaking two bandits. Makes no sense. There's going to be a radiant encounter over here on the left. And if it's something I actually have to fight, yep, we're gonna have to run backwards. What is that? Oh shoot, it's a bread. Oh, it's a wood elf, okay. Okay, good, phew! Every single time I've slept here, it's happened. Not this. There we go. In your dream, you find yourself in a dark forest, lit by the light of the blood moon. In the distance, you hear the howling of wolves and a faint scream of men. A horned figure beckons you from a rocky outcropping in, 
a pack of wolves at his feet. You recognize him as Hercene, father of man beasts. In his, in his hand is a chalice filled with a crimson liquid. Drink the beast blood. Werewolf. Oh, fudge. City's closed with the dragons about us. Fine. We'll be keeping an eye on you. And this is why I needed to get the perk. Hopefully, nobody saw me. Okay. I don't know who you are. Hopefully you're not important. Is he the carriage driver? Uh, oh no. Our hero, our hero, <laughs> Sorry guys. I got a little bit of a flat there. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I'll show you to your room right this way. Oh, that wasn't a bad tip. Nothing. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information before. Well, we I trust you have I something just... vitally important. You were at Helgen when it was attacked. What's the meaning what of this interruption? Run <laughs> <laughs> so up, hit him, yep. Frick, I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> nice distance. <laughs> That was a lot of damage. Okay, that is gonna be it for today.